In this video, we're going to learn about cybersecurity policies. Welcome to StudioSec. Thank you for watching. Like this video if it's helpful. Comment down below with your policy stories or if you have any kind of policy you'd like to implement and subscribe for more content. We're posting more content every week. Policies are incredibly important. They make up the backbone of your cybersecurity posture. No change lasts without governance, and policy is that governance. Policies are what you can show clients, vendors, employees, third parties, everybody, that you're serious about implementing certain security practices. They're also incredibly important for compliance. Finally, policies let IT staff and other employees know their specific role on certain issues. I do wanna say up front, SANS offers great templates to get you started. I've included a link to their website with the templates down in the description. Be sure to check those out. Policies should generally include several different features. They include an overview of what the policy is. They include a purpose on what the policy is intended to accomplish. They include a scope on who this policy applies to and when this policy is to be implemented. Finally, you have the policy itself. Next, you have policy compliance, which is what happens if the policy is not adhered to. Next, you have related policies. So you wanna make sure that your policies do have links to other policies if they are related. Next, you have definitions if you have acronyms or certain uh, terms or concepts used in that policy that may not be widely understood, those can be defined in the definition section. Finally, you have a revision history, so you can have a change log on your policy. Be sure to update your policies annually for any changes that need to be made. As time goes on, it's common for some policies to become out of date to include terms that may no longer be relevant or to miss out on terms that are relevant. It's also incredibly important that your policies are consistent and uniform. Inconsistent policies create gaps. And if you're familiar with cybersecurity, you know that the attacker is looking for those gaps. So you wanna make sure that you're squared away in policy and making sure that those gaps are mitigated. You wanna think of your policies as a coat of armor. You don't want a super bulked up chest piece and leave your limbs exposed. So for example, if you have a really robust password security policy, but you don't have an email security policy, that's a pretty big problem. Now to explain an inconsistency, if your password policy says you do not share your password, and then in an email security policy, you specify that it's okay to share a password. I don't know why you do that, but you get the picture. That is an inconsistency. Think about these concepts logically. You wanna be uniform and you want, if you were to read these policies all together, for it to make sense. Also understand that gaps in policy can really hinder your ability to implement your strategy, your cybersecurity strategy fully. Remember that policies can make or break your long-term success. You can go super gung-ho on cybersecurity, but say you leave the company and you do not create policy, and then the next person comes in and completely scraps those changes, there are no policies to say no. You have to establish policies to make sure that cybersecurity is taken seriously and is followed. Armed with this knowledge, we can create policies that will ensure the long-term security of our organizations. Like if this video was helpful, comment down below if there are any questions on policy or anything that you'd like to work on as far as policy is concerned and subscribe for more content. We're posting new videos every week. Thank you.